everyone i'm going to show you the characteristics facts and habitat about a hibiscus flower colors of a tropical type often include shades of salmon peach orange or yellow which debate in single or double layers of three to four wide petals these are the facts hibiscus is a genus of flowering plants and the mallow family the genus is quite large, comprising several hundreds species that are natural to warm temperature, subtropical and tropical regions throughout the world. The habitat. Originally native to tropical Asia, it is now grown throughout the warm temperature. Hibiscus is nearly in any place in the world, but it's mostly in a tropical place. Subtropical and tropical regions throughout the world is where hibiscus habitat is. The leaves all are turned over to lanceata, often with a toot or a lobbed margin. The flowers are large, conspicuous, trumpet shape, with five or more petals, color from white to pink, red orange, peach yellow, or purple, from four to 18 centimeter breed. Hibiscus produced. Well, they produce hibiscus tea, also known as sour tea. It's because it's named sour tea. It's because it's made from a mixture of red hibiscus flowers, leaves, and dark red cells. The cup shape centers of the flowers. After the flower finishes blooming, the petals fall off and cyclists turn into pods. These hold the plant seeds and that's what make it a hibiscus tea. What happens if you eat a hibiscus flower? Well, it is good for your body. Hibiscus flower tastes madhura, which is sweet, and chiasm, which is astringent. They are cold in term of potency and can reduce aggravate pasta and balanced kappa live in a tropical island or with the sun live in a tropical island or under the sun it's because that hibiscus will grow best under the sun and in a tropical island tropical hibiscus needs moist but well-drained soil perennial hibiscus grows the best in most soil that never completely dies out this type can handle a bit more water than tropical hibiscus.